All right, you guys, so today, as you guys know, I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon for my Corolla and a lot of my other cars, so, and I wanna go over some of the best things I have bought from Amazon. And a lot of people are like, why do you buy car parts from Amazon? Because they're not even name brand car parts, blah, blah, blah. A lot of the people who say that don't realize that all these name brand companies like Borla and stuff like that, they sell on Amazon because they actually, it's people buy on Amazon because it's convenient. So that is probably one of the biggest things about buying on Amazon is not just because they're like random car parts. A lot of times they are good high quality car parts, but they're sold on Amazon for our convenience. So today I just wanted to go over the best mods and parts I have bought from Amazon. And some of them are fairly cheap and some of them are a little bit more pricey, but they're all really good parts. And I just want to show you those today. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is obviously, I don't need this anymore. So these hood struts I ordered off of Amazon, obviously. I think I paid like 50 bucks for them and it's definitely a $50 worth spending. So not only do you not have to use the hood prop anymore, it doesn't get in your way. Like obviously you don't, It's a, this is a, a Toyota so I don't have to work on my car often, but Obviously, I do a lot of modifications, so I need to open the hood up and actually work on it. So, not having this bar in your way sometimes can get um, annoying, like, especially when you're working on this side of the car. Obviously, you will have a bar in your way, so with this, definitely worth getting these. So, I mean, not like I said, it's just the ease of use of having these, and also... It looks nicer not having to worry about having a hood prop holding up your hood so that is definitely one of the first things i will mention all right so the next thing i want to talk about is blacking out your emblem so i went with hyper dip so it is a little bit shinier and more of a satin finish than the matte finish of plasti dip but plasti dip does the same thing but just not as shiny um but i did this the front and the rear emblems with one can and I think it's definitely worth it. Um, gets rid of all that chrome emblems and stuff like that that nobody really wants. So it's definitely worth the upgrade for one can of like twenty dollar plastic. So and it's super convenient. You just tape off the area, um, spray it on, and then just peel off any excess stuff. So like I said, that is definitely a good upgrade for. The Corolla in any car in general. Alright, and hopping inside the car, I want to talk about this head unit. Um, not this one specifically, but a cheaper one I used to have that looked just like this one. They sell one just like this on Amazon for like $160 or something like that. It works good. I think it does come with CarPlay now. Before, when I had it, it didn't have CarPlay. It's a really decent radio for the price of it. So, obviously this one's not the same one. This is an iDoing radio, but like I said, before this one, I had one for like a year, and I upgraded this one, and I had to say, I had no complaints about it. So, that is definitely a good upgrade for the Corolla. Then another good, easy mod to do is Instead of having that blank switch here, like many of these Corollas do, buying one of these dual USBs that literally plugs straight into the harness that goes to your cigarette lighter, and it just piggybacks to get power here, and it also gives you um, access to the cigarette lighter here. So, and it acts as a voltage meter to tell you what your volts are on your car. All right, now hopping back in front of the car, you can see my hella horns. I got dual hella horns that I installed. I think they're like 20 bucks or something like that. I did buy a harness too to make the wiring a little bit easier. But you can see I'm a little bit better here. I got the yellow ones because I kind of have the yellow accents going. But you could buy red ones as well. They're literally the same price. Um, and they're a great addition. They make your horn a lot louder. And from the front, you can see them slightly. And it makes it look a lot cleaner than having that little tiny stock horn. Especially if you're on my car, that horn was a little rusty. So this cleaned it up and made it look a lot nicer. I don't know how well you can see it because it kind of blends in. It's my oil catch can. This was a cheap oil catch can that I ordered off of Amazon. And I ordered some little bit higher quality Mishimoto hoses here. 
but this I have to say I've had it on for I think five months or something like that um, and I'm about to open it up and see how much oil is actually in here see if it's worth it or not all right so I obviously I have this steel wool in here and I'm just gonna get a box we'll throw this into it so you can see all the oil dripping off the the steel wool and then look at how much I don't know if you guys can see it there's a lot of oil in here all right so I got this clear container let's see how much oil So this is after, like I said, I think like four or five months I've had this oil catch can on my car. And it has caught all that oil from going into the intake. So if you're wondering if it's worth it, um, definitely is. Because you also have to realize too, people always mention, oh, is it good for a naturally aspirated car or a turbo car or whatever? And yeah, I've been turboed for the last almost three months or whatever, but... I guess I've had this on even longer. I think I've had this on for like six months. So 50% of the time was naturally aspirated. 50% of the time was turbo. And that is all the oil that has came from that. So definitely have to say for, I think it was like 15 bucks I bought this for. So definitely worth it. All right, and again, I also want to say, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff that I talk about, I will be putting links down below. Like I said, all this stuff is ordered from Amazon and I've experienced with it and I'm giving my thoughts and if it's worth it or not so but pretty much everything I have ordered so far I have no complaints about so if you guys are interested I will be putting those links down below all right now hopping down below um you guys really won't be able to see it at all but my Rev9 coilovers so I bought these off of Amazon I think I paid about $500 for these and I've had them on my car for almost three years now so and I've adjusted them a couple times and everything is working great. No clunks, no clanks, no nothing. Um, definitely a good buy for coilovers. Everybody will definitely tell you, go with BC Racing coilovers. Um, I would say, yeah, they're probably a really good brand, but this brand is half, more than half the price and works just as good. I think, though, one thing I would give BC Racing a, a plus on is... You can lower your car a lot more than these, but I mean, I don't know how much lower you really want to go on coilers because your car becomes impractical to drive if, unless if you're one of those static guys that believes in just slamming your car on coilovers and scraping every single thing on the bottom of your car. I mean, then I would definitely say go with BC Racing Coilovers, but these, I have my car lowered like three inches or so, and no complaints whatsoever, other than a clicking axle that I need to change soon. All right, so hopping back inside the car, I wanna talk about my, my Sparco aluminum pedals. So these I've also had on the car for, for probably around like a year and a half, and I have to say I really like them. They look really nice, um, but also, they function really nice as well. So uh, they do have really good grip for your shoes. The only thing I do notice is like if they are soaking wet, you do tend to, your foot does slide off a little bit, but majority of the times it grips really good um, with your feet. So, but yeah, these, they're universal. So they work with many other cars, but I put them on a Corolla screwed them right into the pedals and they've been working great since all right one other thing too on the exterior are these avs in channel visors i really like them they function really good because you can crack the window and let out heat but no rain or anything can get inside of them so and as a plus i think they look really good so these were only like 60 bucks off of amazon and a really good deal for what you get out of it especially I mean if you live somewhere like I do in Florida these things work amazing but I mean if you live somewhere where it's cold and never rains then they might be 
more as a an aesthetic thing than anything but the AVS in channel visors are really nice and that's another thing I like about them is the in channel so you don't have to worry about like the tape coming off because I did have a set before that was on my Camry I noticed that the tape was starting to peel off just a little bit causing the visors to kind of flap around in the wind while these in channel ones you never have that problem all right and this is for all of my base model and le people a s style spoiler so i put this on like almost when i first got the car paint matched everything looks good a little over a hundred dollars definitely worth it so this spoiler comes with the light as well ignore the decal i didn't do that as well but um this spoiler comes pre-painted you just select your paint code and it gives you such a good aesthetic look on this car. So I think when you don't have that and the trunk lid is just flat, this car needs that little square sharpness of the spoiler to make it look amazing. Alright, and then one of the other things I want to talk about is this toe strap that I got from Amazon. I think I paid like $10 for it. comes with everything to mount it to the crash bar. Um, and aesthetically, it looks nice. But I do have to say, the quality of this strap, it is already fading. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the difference between what it looked like. Because like it, when it's just sitting like this, obviously that's all you can see. But you can see the inside of what color it used to look like and what it looks like when the sun has hit it. So that's definitely, I mean, something to think about when you buy these is they are cheap and they're made with some cheap fabrics. So it will fade within like a year of installing it. So, but all in all, it looks, aesthetically it looks nice. And for the price of like $10, you can't beat it. All right, one of the last things I wanna talk about is behind here. So I don't feel like taking this off right now because I have my, my boost gauge and everything kind of all weirdly set up here. But behind here is the flasher module. So what the flasher module is, is pretty much the module that controls your turn signals and everything like that. And it's perfectly fine from stock. Don't get me wrong, it is a perfectly fine stock one, but if you want to start adding LEDs to your front and back turn signals, you are going to need to upgrade to the to a LED flasher module to help de-hyper flashing. So um, with this one, I bought a Diode Dynamics flasher relay, and it comes with a little bit extra features than a normal one. You can buy the cheaper one that only fixes the hyper flash, but this one also has the ability to do um, fancy things with your turn signals like when you turn on your hazards so at the beginning when you first turn it on it has it's like triple blink and then when you flip your um, turn signal stock up it'll do a wig wag I believe they call that the fast wig wag and then when you turn it down it'll do the slower wig wag and then as we come up to the front you can see like one will flash and then the other one will flash wigwagging back and forth. So that is the term that they use is wigwag. But I think it's a great, just a cool little show thing. Like obviously you wouldn't want to drive with these on, but it's a cool little show thing and it helps all your hyper flashing and everything for your turn signals. All right, so that's pretty much all the mods. There's probably other little ones I missed here and there, but those are probably some of the best mods I have ordered from Amazon. So, and like I said, a lot of them cost like under like the $30, $40 range. You can buy a lot of them. So if you're looking for some great mods to start with your Corolla, I'd definitely say some of the ones I mentioned are perfect for that starting of it. So, but some of them are a little bit more expensive, but like I said, it's the convenience of Amazon, okay? That's really what it is. Amazon is super convenient. Getting all your parts here within like two days is perfect. So, but if I mentioned anything or didn't mention anything, comment down below, tell me what mods that you have put on your car from Amazon that you really like. So, if you guys are new, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.